Are you thinking about buying a second headphone? Stop right there. Here's how you can make sure the phone you're buying isn't stolen. Taking these steps can save you from unnecessary trouble. When buying a second hand phone, the first thing you need to do is to locate the IMEI number within the phone. IMEI stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. Every phone has a unique IMEI number which is used to blacklist the phone once it is reported lost or stolen. To find the IMEI number, first you click on Settings. Then you scroll down to About Phone. Click on About Phone and the IMEI numbers would be at the bottom. One for the regular SIM card and the other for the eSIM. Record both of these numbers because you're going to need them to find out if you are buying a stolen phone. If for any reason you are unable to find the IMEI numbers, in the settings menu, you can also use the keypad to get this information. Just dial star number sign zero six number sign. And you'll see both of the IMEI codes at the top displayed as IMEI 1 and IMEI 2. Next I'll go to a website to check the IMEI numbers. Now to check your IMEI, you need to go to this website, imeipro.info, imeipro.info. Now on this site, you want to go down here and click right in the box. And I've already been here, so my number is already here, but normally I would have to type it in, but I did in advance just to save a bit of time. So I just click on I'm not a robot and then click on check. All right, under here, I will see my IMEI code, which I've just entered and the brand of the phone, the phone model and the blacklist status. Right now, my phone is clean. It is not blacklisted, but if it was blacklisted, it would say right here. So right now you know the phone is clean. Don't forget, you also got to check the second number for the eSIM. So that would be a second check you also have to do at the same time. Now if you should have any problems getting on to the first site, try this one, imei.info. And you would click into the box here. And I've already been here. I've already put the code in to save us some time. And you just click on check IMEI. All right, under here it tells you about your phone. And go down a bit further, and you just click over here blacklist simple check. And then you click in the middle here check blacklist status. The device is clean. I have a Samsung model Galaxy S21. This is the IMEI code. Uh, it says the device is clean. You wouldn't have this check mark if it was blacklisted. It would say it was blacklisted right here. This is just the date the report was created. And that's basically it. You can check it on both sites or you can just check it on one um, if you wish. Or if you can't get on to one, you can try the other. Now to be extra sure, you can always contact the phone's carrier if the seller is currently connected to a carrier. The carrier can confirm if the phone is blacklisted or locked to a specific network. You can also ask for proof of ownership. This could be the original receipt or the phone's original box. A legitimate seller wouldn't hesitate to provide this information. If you aren't sure about the seller's legitimacy, consider buying from a certified reseller like Swappa, Amazon Renewed, or a local carrier's pre-owned program. These sellers often offer warranties and verified phones. By following these steps, you can mitigate the risks of buying a stolen phone or a compromised phone. 
If anything seems suspicious, it's better to walk away from the deal. Stay smart, shop safe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips. This is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.